Hello, my name is Yonis. This is going to this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use a number of different events and manipulate these events based on a particular time. To get started, we need to apply a timer into a project. So we went to the File, New and select New Project. The new project we selected is a VBS project and a Windows Form application. You name the project appropriately, you select the location where you want to save the project and then you click OK. OK, the first toolbar, the first tool we are going to add is a timer. So I'm just going to click and drag a timer to my project. So here's my timer. I'm just going to leave the default name and I'm just, I'm just going to change the interval to 1000 milliseconds, which is a one second. Now, I need something here to display the current time. So I keep a track of how long my timer, which number my timer is displaying. Uh, so I need to apply a label. So I'm just going to put here a label. Uh, I'm just going to change the name of the label. So the, let's change the text to zero. And the name of the label, I'll change it to LBL my time. LBL my time. Now, now I have created a label called LBL my time. I'm just going to click on the timer, click on the go to the properties panel, click on the little lighting bulb, which is the events. And then here I've got an event that I can apply here on my timer called the tick event. If I double click here, it will take me to the tick event timer. Just added some code here before. Let's delete that. So the timer one tick event, so every time is ticking, so every time it goes to 1000 milliseconds, I would like to say LBL, my time dot text is equals to, let's say plus equals to one. So every time is ticking, every 1000 milliseconds, that's what I've set it up to do, every 1000 milliseconds gonna tick. I would like this label here, this label here, to add one more value, plus equals one. Let's go back to the design view. I want to make sure also that my timer is enabled straight once the straight away, once the form is loaded. So I'm just going to change that to enable. So let's click start. And as you can see here, the numbers start counting, but I don't want the numbers to continue counting forever uh, because I would like to apply this uh, timer onto a number of diff different events so I can control the events based on a particular time. So what I need to do here, I need to double click now on my timer again. And I need to put an if statement there. So I will say if LBL my time dot text is equals, let's say it's greater than 10. So I want the LBL my time dot text to be equals to zero. So basically go back to zero. Because I don't want this to continue going up and up and up and up. So let's start. Let's have a look. So when it goes to number 10, then it should go back to zero. Eight, nine, ten, and then now it's going back to zero. That's good. So I've got a timer now that it's counting. Now, what I'm going to do, I don't really need a timer to, to be visible. So what I'm going to say here for my timer, sorry, for my label, I'm going to select my label. And I'm going to set the visibility of my label to be invisible. To visible equals false. So when I actually run now, even though my timer is counting and my label is, is, is invisible, still my label, I can control the time based on this label. For the sake of this tutorial, let's make the label visible for now. Let's change that to true, the visibility to true, until I finish the project and then I can always turn that to invisible. So the first event I would like to apply, it's going to show me a little tooltip here on the label. So the text will be, this is a hover event. 
I'm just going to put here a text box below it. Actually, in fact, let's name this. Let's give a clear name to this label as well. So I can call it through the code. So I'll call it LBL hover event. Just going to put a text box here below it. So when somebody hovers over with, a, with their mouse over this text box, I want to show this label. So by default, this label will be invisible. So let's change the visibility to false. Oops, false. So people won't be able to see this. So I'm going to click now on the text box. So if I click on the start here, you won't be able to see the label. As you can see here, the label is not visible. So if I click now on the text box, let's exit this. If I click on the text box and go to the properties and the lighting icon, the events, I'm just going to put here on mouse hover. So I'm just going to select the mouse section, find the mouse section, mouse hover. I'm going to double click here, take into to the code. Now, mouse hover, I want to make sure that the LPL hover event dot visible equals true. So I make this visible. Now, I want to also make this visible for five seconds. How do I do this? Now, I know that my timer is ticking every one second. So what I need to make sure is that my LPL my time dot text is set to zero, first of all. So when this happens, when the mouse goes over, I want this tooltip to be visible. But at the same time, I want the LBL my time dot text, the label that shows the time, to be set to zero. And here on the tick box, I will say, so every time it's ticking, I, I will create another if statement. I will say, if LBL hover dot visible sorry if uh, if timer uh, no sorry if uh, I want to select my time LBL my time LBL my time dot text is equals to five I want it to be for five seconds then I want this hover, I'm just going to copy that and paste that there. I want the LBL hover event to be visible, set, the visibility to be set to false. Basically to be invisible. So when I hover over with my mouse on this text box, then the label will be visible and the timer, the time will be reset to zero. Once the time reaches to 5, then the label hover event will be invisible again. Let's try it. So if I go on a hover event, so here's my mouse cursor. If I, over, if I hover with my mouse cursor, as you can see, not only the label shows, but also the timer changes to 0. Can you see that? It changes to 0. Now if it reaches to 5, it should disappear. That's great. So it's working now. So this sets to zero, this shows, and then once it reaches to five, disappears. So this is how I, man I can manipulate objects by using different events and particular times. Okay, let's go back here. I'm just going to apply another event here on check on text change event. So I'm just going to scroll up and down until I found the label. So the label, let's go back to the properties. The text for the label will read, this is the text change event. I want to set this to, let's call it LBL text change event. And I want to change the visibility again to false. So it's going to be false. And I'm just going to put a text box below it. And the text box, let's increase the width. And the text box, uh, 
uh, name will be called txt uh, text change event and I'm just going to type on the uh, text for text value I'm just going to type yes I'm gonna press enter okay so what I would like to do now I would like every time somebody types something removes the word yes and types something else I want this to show this tooltip to show so text change this tooltip will show this label will show how do I do this I'm going to select the text box I'm going to go to the properties click on the little lighting bulb the events and then I'm going to scroll all the way down to the text change double click on the text change and here I'm going to say LPL text change dot visible equals true because by default it's going to be false now I want to do the same thing that I did above on the previous event I want also the label my time to be set to zero so it's going to count five seconds and then it's going to basically make it disappear again how do I do this? I'm going to go to my timer here because my timer is ticking every 1000 milliseconds and I'm just going to copy this because it's similar code and paste it here I will say if the label is equals to 5 then I want to apply this time this label on text change my text change LBL text change dot visible equals false so let's get start start the project to test it okay if I hover over with my mouse here nothing happens as you can see the timer still counts if I hover over here my timer resets to zero and it shows me the label after five seconds the label disappears so if I click here and type something then I can see the text change event once it reaches to five then it disappears so as soon as I type something as you can see every time I click a key the time resets click again the time resets click again the time resets delete all this the time resets it shows me that the text the text has changed and then once it reaches to five the event resets okay this is the hover event this is the text event ch text change event stop that so in this lesson you've learned how to actually create let's actually make this timer now invisible so people will think that this works as a magic because they won't be able to see the time time is only for testing purposes so you can actually see how it works as you can see here we're gonna count to five once it counts to five this should disappear and then if I change the text and count to five again the text will disappear so it works like magic so in this tutorial you learn how to apply timer how to actually manipulate different events based on a particular time we added if statements uh, and we actually work with it based on visibility to true or false and based on labels to be the text of the labels to be equals to a particular number or we manipulate a label by actually saying plus equals one which means that a label was carrying uh, a, another value and another value every time the tick event took place in this case was 1000 milliseconds which is equivalent to one second now finally if we go to the to the events uh, uh, lighting bulb here to the events and select a different object we can see a number of different events so what I would like you to do in your own time have a play around apply some different events here we have some action events behavior events data events drag and drop events focus events key events layout mouse events mouse events are the most commonly used property change events like check text change 
hope you learned something new today. thank you for watching.